in this episode we explore Durness and travel south down the west coast of the Scottish Highlands. Morning from another lovely sunny day in Scotland. Today we are going across um, to Durness to have a look at smooth caves and probably go on the beach again because it's a really nice day today. So we'll show you a bit of what we get up to. Um, it's another chill day so chills, views, beach, playing, maybe another wine and um, I'll show you the view again from the van this morning. Another lovely day in Scotland, really looked out with this weather. How is it? Not made it to Smooth Caves because we found a Durnef beach. We can't get the kids off it. They absolutely love it. Who knew Scotland looked like this and had weather like this? What are you doing, Harry? Digging the biggest hole in the world. Digging the biggest hole in the world. You're doing what? Having a sand fight. Digging the hole in the world. Whoa! Where's this now? stayed for six hours on Durness Beach where the zip line is. I think it's called. No, it's not Durness Beach. It's not Durness Beach. We'll find the name of the beach and I'll, I'll, I'll put it down there. Um, but the kids, the day was so nice. The kids just wanted to play on the beach. So that's what we've done. Um, we're now parked in the car park at the top and we're going to camp here tonight in the vans because there's no sign saying that we can't do it. So we're going to camp and we're just going to make some grub now and then we're going to go have a few drinks and chill out on the beach again for a little bit before bed and this is the view from the van that we have for tonight the scottish highlands just keeps bringing the views Impressive. 
Phoebe, can you remember the fun fact I told you about Smoo Caves? Um, it was made um, by the sea. The outside was made by the sea, um, like crashing into the road. A road in the front of the yeah. cave, yeah. And Don't look up, you might get back poo in your mouth. Just been to Smoo Caves. Did you like it? And we put our names down to go back at quarter past one to do the boat ride, which we're really excited about. Meanwhile, at Smoo Caves, they have burger vans and toasty vans. So we're having a right feast. Is it good? Chicken burger. What have you got? Is there? Hot dog. Harry's got chips. Mm mm. I've got a cheese and ham sandwich. Sounds good. My hot dog is. Half eaten, but it was like that really big. long, wasn't it? As well, Harry's got chips. Yeah. Yum. If you're lucky enough to visit Smoo Caves when it's been lovely weather with no previous rain then they do run small little boat tours um, with inside the cave. This is £10 per adult, £5 per child, and takes about 20 minutes. It's a really lovely little cave tour and I highly recommend it. stop it's another wild camp tonight and we're at um some sort of lighthouse um i've forgotten the name but mum will probably link it in the description below and um it's a really nice view and there's been quite a lot of boats coming around this area and it's there's quite a lot of midges though because i'm wearing my midget net is this coming say hi hi <laughs> we're in our midget net um, yeah, so the lighthouse is just up there somewhere, up there. Yeah, there's a path just there. And our vans are just there. Um, and we are having, we are cooking dinner on the barbecue and we're gonna sit inside for a bit and play some board games. So yeah. Star Lighthouse was built in 1870 and stands 14 meters tall. It's now used as a holiday accommodation which you can hire out. Good morning from another scenic view from the van. So windy last night. Big Blue couldn't have the pop top up. But this is the view. So 
last night we stopped at Stower Lighthouse. It is, isn't a campsite, but you can free camp here and there's a lady that comes out. It's a five pound donation for smaller vans and 10 pounds for a van of our size, which is a Fiat Ducato size van. There's a composting toilet on site, but it's a bit minging. And the door doesn't shut, so we use our own toilet. So we are on a campsite tonight, so we can have it. The lighthouse. We're going to um, Posh Nessie Falls. Yeah. Um, it's just down here. I think back a 15 minute walk. It's very windy. I'll show you the falls when we get down. <laughs> After leaving the falls, we continued south towards Ullapool, stopping at Ardbreck Castle along the way. Another great spot to stop on the NC500, Ardbreck Castle. Tonight's pitch, another cracking campsite view. I don't think it gets any better than this. I'm drinking Prosecco. The kids are crabbing. This is the campsite for the night. Scotland. Is this the best holiday ever? Bit of a photography lesson going on here tonight during golden hour. <laughs> Phoebe and Izzy are in their element. It's quite a good ball, isn't it? Late night girls walk to the pier. Dementa, Dementa, Dementa! 